Hey everyone, it's Wet here again. Uh, big shout out Vigilante20 for doing the mapping for this video and exploring all the tombs and coming up with all the stuff. Your super legendary Vigilante PvE god here. Uh, this video wouldn't be possible without him. So I thought I'd just uh, give a quick little talk and show a little PvP clip. Again, uh, Vigilante20, uh, super clutch job on coming up with the map. So I'm going to show all the maps of all the variations of the tombs and the ghost flowers right here. Um, every zone has five different options, five different tombs. The, the same ones, uh, obviously, the lizard, the, uh, the scorpion, the dragon, you know, all that, the worm. Uh, each one has a, its own version in each zone, and the ghost flower locations are different. So here's all the combinations. I'll shut up now and talk again when the gameplay starts. All right, so I'm just going to run through a couple of zones. Uh, this one, I got a yellow wood. We got the lizard. Got a ghost flower right off the bat on the left. Uh, the last one's in the boss room, uh, which is a pretty common theme, honestly. But there's some that that's there. they're not near the boss room. But the next one I do have for you is, a, is another lizard, because I just I'm glad I got a few lizards to show the example. And I got a dragon. So... Two easy ghost flowers, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and then boom, the lizard again in redwoods, but this time the first ghost flower is on the right. There's one just around the corner uh, through the open door. You got to make sure you're recording because you never know. And then again in the boss room on the way out. This was the family zone, so I thought, you know what, I'll lay a trap. Maybe it'll give me a few more seconds to get out. Yeah, no, I didn't uh, go poor gear for this. I just wanted to run through it quickly. And then boom. The lizard again in yellow rock. This time it's more in that room. And then again, the boss's room just on the right though, not at the back of the room like the other two. So you can see where I was pinging where it would be. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because I don't pay for my kind master. Sometimes I like to lay a sneaky trap. I probably should have left the nails for someone broke, but whatever, I'm a little low. So with the maps like this, it's great for farming ghost flowers because you can just run right to them and bounce and not worry about getting killed. And then again, uh, we got Red Rock. This time I got the dragon. Uh, I didn't feel like running the zones over and over and over trying to show every single variant. Uh, I figured a couple would be the most interesting just to show you that I'm not went off full of crap. And uh, I'll probably post timestamps on the bottom of the video. So if people find their, their ones, they can or they'll just look at them and remember them. Uh, there's only they're only on there for five seconds each. I like I like doing this in here sometimes. And that way, if someone comes in, they got to deal with some mobs. And bam! There's a 
last ghost flower in there. Well, uh, I think that's all for the video. I hope everyone enjoyed it, and I hope everyone uses this guide and farms lots of ghost flowers. And everyone can have dispels. Dispels for all. Peace.